Hello everyone, just before I start, due to the dynamic nature of the internet, the availability and content of the website you'll see here could be different as of the time you are watching this video. Today, I'm going to discuss with you a new concept of secure web gateways other than the traditional proxies. So here, I'm configuring my browser to use a special type of proxies which provides web isolation. So let me walk you through a typical user experience while surfing the internet in a normal day. As I'm lazy enough to open this list of websites one by one, I'm using a Chrome extension to open them at once. And it's not a part of the solution I'm talking about today. So let's give it a while to load all these tabs. On a spectrum of website types, you would see that users will use famous and known good websites like news or business ones. We all know them, we are all confident that they are not serving any bad content. On the other end of that spectrum, users might be trying to open some known bad websites. Either they don't know that such websites might be harmful for them and the business, or maybe they intentionally trying to access them. As you can see here, such website is categorized as a placeholder. Maybe this domain is a parked one, maybe the website was under construction or it's used to host unuseful content. Here, the website is categorized as a suspicious one. This is based on web reputation factors, maybe it was used in other web or email spam campaigns. And of course, there are many other types of malicious websites that we definitely don't want to allow our users to access. Those that impose legal liabilities, security concerns, or non-productive websites. And then there are some other websites that we, at this moment, don't have the ability to decide if they are good or bad. Take this one for example. It's an under construction website that has nothing more to declare. Or maybe this one as well, it's even more vague to me to know about the background effect. Is it going to be a business website or maybe another non-productive one? Not sure. Another example, for me from the first look on this website, it seems to be a business to come. It's showing some information about an existing entity, yet I don't have the ability to confirm how authentic are these information. Again, another one. Mm, to me, this seems to be a bike business that it's either still building their website or they are having a very attractive sale, so they are selling everything for free. And the list will never end. Such websites that are either newly registered on the internet or not having guiding information or even didn't receive enough traffic that could help security vendors to take the firm decision to categorize them. But if my video recording software is clever enough, you would notice that there is one thing that is common between all of these websites. They are all showing this thin green line at the top. And the probability they were all designed by the same company is not a thing that I would consider. In fact, they are all being isolated. Although you are seeing the content of these websites the same way they were developed to show you, Actually, none of their original content like images, scripts, HTML code reached my browser. All the coding and resources of those websites were executed in a secure, isolated remote container. And what we are seeing here is just the graphical representation of what took place on that remote container. Unlike the known good websites, my browser executed all the code behind to show me the content. If I showed you the page source, you will find heaps of lines of code that run on my computer. But here, in any of the isolated websites, if we see the page source, you will see it's only a single script that fetched all the content from the remote isolated container, and I'm quite sure you didn't note any difference or degradation of the website look and feel. One additional security feature of the solution is keeping the user private information as secure as possible. You see here in this website, for example, users being asked to fill a form with name, email, phone number, and some other fields. 
when the user start typing a pop-up screen will show alerting him that this website is not as safe as he thinks and will prevent him from entering any data until he confirms his understanding of such risk hope you enjoyed this short presentation see you soon